Hello everybody and welcome back to Build and Bound LMTG. Today I'm doing a review on the Dragon Shield Codex Binder, so let's get into it. Okay, so starting off this review, um, this is the, uh, I think it's the 3x3, three three. yeah, 3x3 three three size. Um, so starting with the exterior, this will hold it closed, and it's on a weird side. Normally, like if you open a book, you'll open it from this way, but it's on this side. Sorry for my dog, she's making noise in the background. Hold on, I'm gonna cut and let her out real fast. Okay, so, um... So yeah, that's kind of weird, but it's not an issue how it opens on this side. And also the leather on the outside, or I think it's leather, it's fake leather, whatever. It looks nice and yeah, it works good. And this is hard, it's not flexible. So your cards aren't gonna bend from this thing flexing. So if you throw it in your bag, it should be okay. Um, So opening this up, all right, here's my first issue with this Codex binder. So you see, this page right here is not laying flat on the ground and I'm like 90% sure this has to do with the actual pages being sewed onto the seam right here. So this causes tension on this page so it can't go all the way down. And if you do try and push it all the way down, that's probably not gonna be good. So I'm not gonna do that because I actually store cards in this and I bought it with my own money, but it'd probably rip the seams. And periodically throughout this video, you'll probably hear some popping. And I don't know if that's the seams ripping or the like these uh, card holders catching on one another, but I can't classify that as good in any way. So I'm gonna show you what a real binder with a uh, card hold or pages looks like and show you how there's no tension there. So let me grab that real fast. All right, so a real binder has these rings in it, right? So the card holders just sit on the rings. There's no tension there. This one's not even in all the way. <laughs> okay, so there's no tension here. They can turn freely. And whereas this, this page is just hanging up in the air there. So if you want to lay it flat down on a table, like if I turn this, it's just going to be sticking up in the air. So that's uh, one of my issues with this binder. Okay, so moving on to issue number two with this binder. Um, when I order this, or <laughs> not when I ordered this, when I ordered this off Amazon, um, brand new, I didn't buy it used from anybody, obviously. It came, and these plastic things were like dirty. I don't know if the camera's picking this up. If it's, it probably isn't, right, Otto? No. All right, well, there's like scuff marks on these plastic sheets, especially, do you see that, Otto? All that scuffing and dirt? That's not my card sleeves, for sure. It's definitely not. I don't know if the camera's picking this up or not. Yeah, do you guys see that, like, dirt and scuffing on this plastic? And this plastic card holders, they're super flimsy. Like the, um, any other, like, normal binder with uh, trading card holders that you can buy off Amazon would definitely be way more durable than this plastic. Like when I'm putting cards in this, I am have to be careful not to bend this up too much. Otherwise, it's probably just going to rip out because it's not sewn in there or anything. And there's just scuff marks all over these. The camera's not picking it up too well, but I think you guys can kind of see it. That's not my card sleeves. It's the actual binder itself. So yeah, that's another issue that I have with this binder. Okay, moving on to issue number three, and I bet there will be more to come. Um, right here you can see, can you see? That's the middle point of this binder, right? It's not in the light. That's the middle point. So I'm gonna open it up to the middle of this binder, okay? This is the middle. You can see the seams, how they're sewn in to the middle right there. And that is why this doesn't sit flat on a table. You guys are gonna hear it pop right now. I don't, I really don't like doing this to my stuff that I buy, but you came here to see your review. So it's not sitting flat on the table. And if I just open this up, you hear that creaking? That's the seams. And um, whenever I'm like showing my friends my cards or whatever, I'm flipping through this, you can just hear these seams popping a bunch. And I can't, I don't think that's good. 
obviously it sounds like it's breaking every time and then there's the page lifting up causing more tension and it's just wearing this thing out um every time i use it so yeah that's another issue with this binder okay another issue that i have with this binder it's not that big of an issue as the other ones but it's still there okay so you can see i have this card right here in a dragon shield sleeve um which dragon shield sleeves are another product besides their portfolios those i can't recommend enough and if you guys would like to see a review on those drop a comment down below and i will gladly shoot a video on it i've bought lots of those anyways back to the topic at hand this card has no sleeve and when i'm going through my pages and i'm turning them right i can notice the cards with no sleeves they seem to fall out now that not like it'll be sticking out of the holder now that might not seem like a big problem but since these pages are not stiff they bend at the curve right here so if your card has no sleeve it'll move around in here then when you go to turn the pages it could bend your card because you're bending the part where your card is sticking out and your card will just bend with the page so that's another problem if you don't store your cards in sleeves and my last and final issue with this binder oh actually there's two in this one the first one's really not that big of an issue it's kind of just uh there but i figured i might as well mention it on the corners right here the um this little corner piece is not picked in so it'll actually like prick out and that'll sometimes catch when you're turning the pages and could lead to some potential card damage or the binder damage and my final issue is when you're turning these so the inside flap on where you put the cards in will actually like catch like the back will actually catch on like this one and kind of like rip it so yeah that's not good either so my final conclusion on this binder do not buy this product you will be better off buying any school binder such as that one and then just buying um, card holder pages for the inside of it. And as long as it's like a D-ring binder, you should have no issues whatsoever. Like this one, you won't have the tension problem. Your pages will lay flat on the surface. And you could probably uh, store more cards in it because this one's limited. You can't, oh, there's another issue. You can't add more pages if you would ever like to do that. Um, it comes with a set amount of storage. So, just my final kind of breakdown of this um the straps kind of weird that doesn't really bother me all too much the branding here could peel off i guess it's not it's like a sticker on there so if in time that will probably come off it mine hasn't come in a, come off yet but uh, i can see that as a potential issue the exterior i actually do like a lot the interior however is a load of rubbish so i cannot recommend this product to any of you i actually saw this product reviewed on Tellurian community college's video and he reviewed it as a a product i believe i would give this product a d i do not feel like it meets any of um his standards that he rated it as and yeah maybe he doesn't see the exact problems that i see in it or maybe his didn't come scuffed like mine did on the inside which is a pretty big problem for me. I would like my cards to look nice. Um, part of the reason why I put them in here. So yeah, I really can't recommend this product. Uh, please subscribe. It would help the channel out a lot. Thank you, Otto, for filming this video, and we'll see you in the next one.